Uh, another important tip, guys, um, when when you do come to the point where you've got rid of your empty, that's gone away, you grab out your fresh magazine. Now, you've got a good solid grip, try and get your uh, finger as high up on it as you can, or your hand get as high up on the mag as you can. Not right up here, obviously, because then it's not going, going to go in the mag well, but a decent height, because that will help you in feeding it into the magazine. Well, if, it's, if your hand's right down here, you're more likely to miss. So, index finger high up if you can. Well, quickly come up to the magwell itself and pause just for a split second. When you watch the professional guys, this is the method they use. They come straight up, they pause for a tiny split second and then in. That is a really big help because if you try and come, you're probably going to, if you just try, it's not going to work. It, it, it's pretty much impossible. Uh, you know, you can do it slowly straight in or you can pause just before you, the final part of the insertion. That's probably one of the most important things to get in a good, smooth reload where you're not going to fluff it. Um, really, really, I would recommend everyone take a little bit of time to practice in that at some point. So, um, so demonstrate that again. You come, you're taking the mag out of the pouch, you come up to here, just before. Now, when you get to this point, what it gives you is an opportunity to see Maybe you're too far forward, back, left, right, whatever. It gives you to see, right, yeah, now we're back in, and then it goes in. That helps a lot. So, yeah, there's your, um, there's your three methods, guys. Uh, a few tips and tricks there. And uh, what I'll do now, we'll just go through, I'll just pick up all the mags, and uh, we'll go through a few full speed, and uh, I'll see if I can practice what I produce, sort of. Okay, so I've picked up all my mags off the floor and out of the dump pouch. I've loaded up my vest again, I've got five in. So we'll go through, we'll show uh, a couple of those different methods I mentioned before. We'll do uh, a reload going back into the pouch itself. Then we'll do a couple into the dump pouch and then a couple dump the mags on the floor uh, as fast as I can do them. Um, just to give you guys a demonstration to illustrate some of the points I was making before. So to start off, we're going to this mag here, right at the back. Uh, quite common things to work from one side of your pouches to the other. It helps you keep the track of your ammo. So you've got the first one, goes in, skirmish it away, see it go empty. Now, come up, mag comes out, and you, unfortunately, in this case, you're having to look around here and then get a fresh one up to that point there, it goes in. Far away, far away, this one goes empty, out, into the dump out, next one, in again. Far away, far away, empty, out, dump out, out there, pause, in again. Far away, another empty mag, on the floor, out, pause, in again. So yeah. A lot, lot faster using the dump pouch, but I say personally, I don't find there to be that much of a difference between uh, mags going into the dump as they are just getting dumped on the floor. Um, possibly that's a practice thing because I don't tend to just drop mags on the floor. I'm probably going to be faster using my dump pouch because that's what I always do. But, um, just something to consider. Um, one final other option, guys, that uh, some people quite like to use. Let's put a couple back in there. Cool vest here. Let's see. Let's see. We've got a mag in here. We're coming close to empty. Now, far away and the mag runs dry. Usually my personal method is to grab that empty one first. The first thing my left hand does, obviously I'm right handed so if you're a, if you're a left handed shooter just switch this all over to apply to yourself but yeah first thing my left hand does, my off hand whatever, comes up to the empty bag to get rid of that. A method a lot of people like to use that minimizes the amount of time where the gun doesn't have a full magazine is the first thing they'll do is go to the fresh mag in their vest. Now I don't tend to use this because I've got kind of small hands and I'm not very good at manipulating the two magazines in my one hand, but if you go for that fresh mag first, get it sort of, so it's like that in your hand, right next to your palm and put your fingers, then fingers onto the empty magazine, drop that out, swap it over. Now, as you can see there, that is a very short time of having a gun with no mag in it. Um, 
So that's the advantage of that. Uh, and then, of course, you get rid of your empty wherever it's going. Um, if you're dumping mags on the floor, then there's probably not me much merit to that particular method. Although, I think if you are putting mags back into the pouch they originally came from, that's possibly a good method because it really it means your gun is bombed up and good to go. And so, while you're busy putting the mag back into the pouch that it came from, you're down here. If a, a target presents itself, you can just forget about that, just drop it on the floor or whatever, and engage that opponent or whatever. Um, so, I'll try and demonstrate that as fast as I can. I'm not very good at it. So, far and away, the mag goes empty. First thing, come to your pouch. Like that. It's another option. Um, you know, it, this stuff is all about personal preference. It's all about the gear you choose to run, the weapon you're using, the site that you're playing at. Right? So, uh, yeah, hopefully that will have um, been informative for a few of you. Uh, open up maybe some different avenues, something to try, something to practice. Uh, as always, um, thanks for coming by and watching. I'll be Trying to try my best to make a few more videos like this that hopefully give you guys a bit of info, just some things to think about, and uh, I'll see you next time.